dudes in this one. Hey guys, it's Raquel, and today, so some of you guys commented and requested and wanted to see how I make these. So I will show you how to make them. And maybe if this video goes well and you guys like it, then I will do a giveaway on my Instagram at Raquel Bennett. Just get them from like Walmart or from Joann's. So this one's a choker, as you can tell it is longer. And then I made an anklet of this kind. And then I also have this one. So I'm coming up with names, but I haven't really decided. So comment down below a name you want for this, and I'll shout you out. Then I have this. So it's like a purplish pinkish color, and then some like blue. I'm still deciding what to call this one. It's like coming up with names is much harder than you think, right? And here is where my beads come in. So I bought this little handle thing with four containers. So here's the containers. So I have some different colored beads in this one. And then in this one I have like the um, lobster claws, that hook and unhook, and then you can like do it for the chokers. Then I have the purple beads and blue beads you saw on this one. And then I have this one. So these ones are clays, but we normally share them. So this one is a wide arrangement of them. This one is a gray. This one is like clear gold. Gold and clear in that. And then this one's like a matte color. And then these are shiny blues. And then these two next ones are mine because I recently bought more of these. So I have like frog eyes. I call them that because they're white and then green in the middle. And then here's the coconut ones, which are pure white. This one has some pinks. These ones are the matte, so they're not like shiny colors. They're just matte. Then I have like jungle green ones and I have some sunset ones. So these are like the orange and yellow. And then, so you saw me use this one in this, these are the clear beads. And then, so if you look, see these ones right here? These ones are actually these. You can't really tell, but they are because when they're with a lot of them, they look like that, but when they aren't, they look like this. And then I have the more coconut ones because we use white in a lot. And then I have some different kinds of grays. These ones are like black and white. These ones are some grays with pinks. Those are all of my beads, and then I have these. It's the string. So I got this from Joann's, and it's like twine, but not really. All right, guys, so I did a poll on Instagram to see which two colors you guys want for me to make a choker. So I did either this blue and white, or blue and clear. All right guys, so on Instagram, I did a poll for either blue and white or blue and clear. So far, it is blue and clear, blue and white right now. So I'm gonna make a blue and white. So I'm deciding what pattern to do. So far I have five blues and then I'm deciding how much white to do. I'm gonna ask on Instagram, should I do five blues and then two whites and then five blues, two whites, that pattern? or one blue, one white, one blue, one white, one blue, one white. Well, on Instagram, I did the poll, what pattern should I do? They all chose one blue, one white. All right guys, here's the finished product. You guys chose the perfect colors. So, instead of me keeping it guys, I think that I'm gonna do an Instagram poll to see if you guys want to do this one for the giveaway, or if you wanna do 
this one. So comment down below which one you guys would want. Or go check out my Instagram poll. So I'm not actually going to put the ends on this one just in case. So I'm going to show you on this one. So I'm actually going to do a small one. I'm going to use the long side for the big part. I'm going to hug it. So you put it all the way down, like so. And then you're going to tie some knots, because you don't want it coming off, right? There's one knot. Now I'm going to do another. So I don't do any kind of important knot. I just do two regular double knots. And then I make sure it can't come out. And so now I'm going to do a third one just in case because I've had one come off before. Okay, now I have tiny scissors. I'm going to cut it. So now I have the tiny part connected to it, just in case. And I'm gonna use the other end to do it. I'm gonna tie a few more knots. All done. Now I'm gonna put it on. There we go. There's that one and my favorite yellow one. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and stay watching on my Instagram to see when I do the giveaway or if I do the giveaway. And thanks for watching. Bye.